Aloha, my name is Melissa Olson and I am a senior majoring in accounting. And I am Ari Hayola Castillo, also senior majoring in accounting. Today we are going to learn how to make Excel and instant know-it-all through the use of pivot tables following the guidelines explained in the article by Roberta and Jones. First, a little background on why pivot tables are so important. Imagine you are sitting at your desk working on a spreadsheet for revenue generated by individual salespersons and your CEO approaches you requesting for the fourth quarter sales. That may seem easy enough, but once you find this amount, let's say he asks for a comparison between that and the rest of the sales team. Rather than having to rearrange the whole spreadsheet, Pivot Tables allows us to bring up the information in a matter of seconds. This is what our final pivot table will look like when we are finished. As you can see, everything is clearly labeled and you can click on the different arrows to filter the data according to different groups. For example, if you click on the arrow next to the country, you can filter the data by looking at either UK or USA and click OK. Also, if you right click on any date, and select group, then highlight quarters and press OK, you are able to view the data according to each quarter. Thus, pivot tables are a great tool to organize and categorize your data. Now we will start from the beginning and show you how to construct your own pivot table. Begin by first filling in the data on your spreadsheet. What you see here is a list of salespeople along with their order amount and country. When you input the data, you want to make sure that there's no blank spaces in between. And you want to make sure that you either click in the box so that when you press, when you select the data, it's already, it automatically selects itself. So to insert a pivot table, you want to press insert, then click on pivot table and the screen will show up. So as you can see, since we selected a data inside right here, it automatically selects the data. Otherwise, if you had the data out here, if you selected the cell out here, you would have to highlight the information. Um, over here, you can either choose where it says choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. You can either select a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. If you select an existing worksheet, all you do is click on where you click the cell and where you want the information to be inputted. However, we are going to click a new worksheet and press OK. As you can see, we have this right here, a filled list. We have the country, salesperson, order date, and order amount. What we are going to do is drag these down to the boxes here. So left click on country, drag the mouse down, drag country down to report filter. Then you want to click on salesperson, drag that down to column labels, order date down to row labels, and order amount down to values. You can also input order or date to column in the columns or salesperson rows, just depending on the different scenarios that you have. As you can see, we have the pivot table right here. Once again, we showed you earlier how to go ahead and select the different countries you want to show such as the UK or click on US and it'll show the data for the US right here. However, for this we are going to show all and just press OK. The different functions that we're going to show you, you can either click on the arrows down here which you'll be able to sort the different options. We have the date filters, you can show today, yesterday, or even the next quarter and this quarter. Or you can show the value filters. You can go ahead and if you want to choose amounts that are greater than 5,000, just go ahead and press OK and it shows the amounts that are greater than 5,000. However, let's go back. We'll show you the main, the basic functions for this. More sort options gives you the option to maybe if you want to show the amounts in descending order It'll show you the amount, the greatest amount at the top, and it'll show you all the lower amounts. Just to see if you want to show who had the top sales, um, the top salesperson for that period. 
But one of the main functions that we're going to show you is if you right click on the date and go to group and highlight quarters and press OK, you can show that the data is, is shown in the different quarters. And it will give you the total amount, total amount right here on the right. So this is a very basic functions that were mentioned in the article for pivot tables. And as you can see, pivot tables are very useful, especially when your CEO comes up to you and requests for different data. So now you know how to use uh, the pivot table for future reference. Thank you. Bye.